Ah, Murray. I've been working to get our hangar security devices online, and they're almost operational. Unfortunately, my internet pal Penelope heard a rumor that a rival air team might be stopping by to do mischief to our plane. Mischief makers? Coming here? If you could stand watch while I finish getting the systems online, that would be great. Fear not, Brainiac chum. You'll be safe while my fists are on... duty. Greetings, troglodytes! Didn't think I forgot about Mesa City, did you? I figure you joints let me smash up your aeroplane and we're even. You and what army, dumb guy? Army? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, boys. I paid you off good enough. Time to crack some skulls. Murray, you can't hurt Mugshot with your fists. Try using the switch in the middle of the hangar. That pink punk! These doors ain't holding themselves open! <laughs> Good gosh, a golly! I can take it all day, lightweight! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Murder that ball of fat! <laughs> Keep it coming! I'm a brick wall! Oh! Right in the solar plexus! Don't think this is over, Meatball! You're not untouchable! This is just the beginning of a really bad day! Mugshot wasn't making idle threats! I'm reading multiple hostiles moving through the sewers toward our position. Fortunately, my security devices are almost online. I'll just have time for a quick test. Let's see, I can switch between computers by moving the left analog stick. And now to test the security by pressing the triangle button, circle button, X button, or square button. I can activate the traps for the currently selected sewer. Hmm, they appear to take a few seconds to recharge after being triggered. Looks like they're working perfectly. And just in time, too. Murray, they're upon us. If one gets through my traps, you'll have to take him out. Got it. The Cooper plane is as safe as a baby in its aircraft hangar crib. We stopped that group, Murray, but it looks like more are on the way, and they're packing explosives.
Muckshot'll need a lot more than muscle to intimidate us. Looks like he's got muscle and mortar fire. Maybe it's time I brought in some backup. Just hope she's monitoring the ham radio frequencies. Penelope, do you read me? Are you out there? I read you, Bentley. Uh, this is sort of an awkward first face-to-face, -face, but... But your hangar is getting attacked by some traitorous beat-off Black Baron goons. Don't worry, I won't let those honorless double-crossers hurt your team's plane. Is your RC chopper operational? Affirmative. It's deployed and airborne. You're a heck of a woman. I know. That's what my homepage says. Don't worry, Bentley. I'll keep those traitorous guards from damaging your hangar. Oh, wait! I just installed a Yank 86 and haven't had time to read the specs. Are you familiar with the device? Absolutely! Just hit the X button to lower your cable and grab opponents. Follow the arrow to find enemies. Use the R1 button to kick on the thrusters and yank things off the ground. Sweet! I'll teach those chumps not to sell out the Black Baron. Some enemies require a few yanks to defeat. To maximize your power, boost in one direction, hold on the cable, then turn around and boost the other one. Yeah, these guys are heavy. Penelope, I'm detecting incoming tanks. They could do some serious damage to our hangar. Follow the arrow to find their location. Affirmative. Those tanks are heavy. You'll have to boost back and forth several times. He wasn't so tough. Hey, pal. Nice to see ya.
supply truck? It's en route to drop off Team Iceland's lucky ice sculpture for the semifinals tomorrow. I've given the drivers some bad directions, so they should be going around in circles for hours. We need you to get inside that truck, steal the sculpture, and plant some evidence implicating Team Belgium. Good thinking. Team Iceland won't be gunning for me if they think the Belgians stole their lucky hunk of ice. Well, that's the idea. Now the first thing to do is steal one of Team Belgium's official gold lace monogrammed handkerchiefs. Murray will head inside and get one of those stodgy Belgians laughing. They're notoriously stone-faced. Then I'll move in and steal the handkerchief. Seems like getting inside that truck might be a good job for the guru. He could use some of the guards' heads to bash in the back doors. Agreed. I'll make sure he's in position. Okay, Murray, no pressure. But you've got to find a Team Belgian pilot and get him laughing so hard that Bentley can make the pull. This is serious business, pal. Those guys are uptight. If they notice being robbed, we'll be kicked out of the Aces competition. Hello, Belgium Flyer. Do you like comedy? I think it's time for Mr. Salty Pants to crack a smile. What do you say? He's always, I love flying. Don't go outside. Listen to me. I'm so smart. I'm the boss. My mustache is so macho. <laughs> That's pretty lame, huh? Why did the chicken cross the road to France? Because it wasn't turkey. And you see, the chicken's not a turkey or a Turk. It's a chicken. A French hen! I can't make heads or tails of this coin! <laughs> Get it? It's totally funny because, like, when you flip a coin, it comes out either heads or tails. Come on, that's comic gold! What was Genghis Khan's favorite meal? The brains of his enemy! Get it? I mean, it's more weird and gross than funny, but I... I mean, you gotta admit, it's pretty weird. Ever see someone put their fist down their throat? ta -da! Hey, fish! Stuck! Stuck! I need help! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bentley, it's go time. Make the pull while the Belgian's laughing, or he's sure to feel you fishing for the handkerchief. <laughs> 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 Nice work. Meet me outside with the goods. It's up to the guru now. Bentley's en route to me with the monogrammed handkerchief, but we'll never be able to swipe the ice sculpture unless we can get into that armored truck. <laughs> I agree. The back door should be its weak spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the guards around here won't mind too much if you break the door down with their heads. <laughs> Bentley set up a waypoint on the truck. Should be handy. The thing's moving pretty fast. Ooh. Start, but the truck just powered up its automated defenses. You'll have to pay attention on your next approach. Could get sticky.
stupid. Okay, Sly, your turn. You'll have to sprint hard to catch up, but jumping inside through the roof should be easy. Suit up, partner. Almost time for the semi-finals. Stay sharp, Sly. Iceland and Belgium will be at each other's throats up there, but you're still outnumbered. Relax, Mom. This is gonna be great.
The slides flying, we're officially in the Aces Finals. Our opponents, Team Mugshot and Team Black Baron. The rules in the finals are a bit different than normal. Whoever takes out the defending champ gets the title. Hear that, boys? It's all about taking down the Baron. Our only real competition will be Mugshot himself. We need to remove him from the competition. Here's the plan. I'll challenge him to a fist fight out in the town square. Sly, you find and lure Inspector Fox to the same place. When the two meet, the sparks are sure to fly. With some luck, the big guy will get carted off to jail, and we'll have clear skies for the final. However, the Baron won't be so easy to deal with. He commands an enormous team of flyers and has been known to bring in a squad of blimp gunships when things look grim. The answer to our problem isn't obvious, although it is potent. Behold, Lupus Gigantormus. I'll drug the beast so that the Guru will be able to ride it and take out some of the local guards, who also serve as the Baron's pilots. Obviously, the fewer enemy pilots Sly has to deal with in the finals, the better. Next, I'll hack into the aircraft control tower. If successful, I'll be able to intercept any messages the Baron might send to his gunships. All right, team, we've got all night to prepare. If we take this thing, it'll mean more than a trophy. Penelope is sure to join our gang. After her stellar work defending our hangar, I'm sure we'd all agree that she's a prime recruit.